you guys. I am very, very excited because I might have got two new mice, kind of unexpectedly. I'll explain why in a second, but if you didn't know, recently I started a rescue for small pets, so guinea pigs, rabbits, mice, and we had three very, very cute mice come into the rescue, and everyone, even my family, was telling me, just keep them, what's the harm in just putting them in with your mice and keeping them? And it just didn't feel right to me. I'm really happy with the four mice I have in there at the moment. And I don't really want to put seven mice in there. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna keep them. I will wait for the right mice for me. So they then got reserved and adopted, which is amazing. But pretty much as soon as people started to show interest in them, my two boys in this enclosure, they're around two years old, around about now. And that kind of slipped my mind. So they have started to show aging and just slowing down. And I kind of second guessed myself whether I made the right decision not keeping those mice or not because very quickly I could be down to just two mice and that obviously is not ideal. So I then started looking for my own mice. So I found someone on a Facebook group trying to find a home for her two female mice after her older mouse passed away, which is the most responsible thing you can do in that situation if you don't want to keep mice anymore. So I messaged and said, hey, I'll gladly take them and put them in with my mice. Someone else had just beat me to it, so I didn't think about that again. I kind of pushed it to the back of my mind because I thought, someone else is taking them, I'll just have to continue looking. So a couple of weeks went by, and then she messaged me and said the other person was actually dropping out and couldn't take them, and her older mouse was due to be put to sleep soon, so could I still take them? And I said, yes, of course. Even though it was a surprise, it was a pleasant surprise, and I still wanted them, so I said yes. Luckily they came with their entire cage and setup, which makes a nice change from having to scramble around and set something up or to take rescue mice out of a bad cage and situation. This time I just had to sit back and wait for them to be dropped off. So this is their cage and their setup from when they were dropped off to me. So this is their enclosure. This is an Alaska and I got them stacked on another Alaska, which has the rescue mice I did a video on recently and it's got some really cute stickers on actually they are so cute and i did actually buy this enclosure off her because it is always handy to have alaskas they are so good for hospital cages for rats spare cages for mice good cages for intros for the rats so this one does not belong to me this is my friends and i bought this one off her for about 30 pounds i think it was because they're really handy to have so i believe they were in a different enclosure like a bigger wooden DIY type one I think and then obviously because she has downsized and doesn't have many mice they are in here now so I will show you the things they've come with. So the first thing you might notice is that she has DIY'd a bunch of like dressing gown things or what do you call them in other countries? House coats? Bath robes? Dressing gowns? Um, this is like the tie bit and then she has made a bunch of like hammocks and things so you can do that that's a really good idea if you don't have access to hammocks or you just don't want to spend the money on hammocks for them to destroy you can make them out of old clothes so that seems to be what she's done and it's a very cute um pink theme and i'm guessing this probably isn't all of their supplies they had she's just given me a selection of things um, and i put them into this enclosure but i do need to clean them out at some point i've had them now for about a week and I want to clean them out and put different bedding in, so I will redo this setup for them. But this is the setup they came with. A little hammock here, and a very, very big wheel, which we will get onto later in the video. So yeah, this is one of the bigger Trixie wheels, and then there's just a bunch of, like, cardboard boxes, a coconut, wooden hides. This is really cool, I'm quite excited about this. I've never owned one of these before, so that's exciting. I always love getting free mouse supplies and then this which I actually sell in my store and I was curious if she'd ever ordered from my store because a lot of this does look familiar but I don't think she has and then there's an egg box, a wooden seesaw, this thing which my mice already have, a couple of like ropes and other hammocks and things and then this little hide at the back is where they are sleeping then they've also got a wooden tunnel, this water bowl I added in, and then a bunch of plastic tunnels too. So there was a couple of other things I've not been able to fit in, and I'm going to do a whole rearrange of this. I'm just placing my own things and change things up a bit. So that is the cage they came with. I am very excited to have my own Alaska because it's going to come in very, very handy. 
and some of these bits inside are really cute too. But it worked out quite well that the mice did come with their own supplies because most of my spare mouse supplies are in with the rescue mice and they should hopefully be going to their new home soon but most of my spare stuff is in there. I do have a few more bits that obviously my mice can have when I redo their enclosure but Having extra supplies is always handy, and we've had a couple of people donate mouse supplies, hamster supplies to the rescue, so I can use those for rescue mice in the future, and then have my own stuff spare, but... Hello, this video is not about you! <laughs> I've never really been too close to these cages in person before, but there's a few features that I find really handy that they've thought about. I wasn't too sure what this was for to start with, but if you have an animal that's really good, at squeezing these parts of the bars and opening the door. This just gives you an added bit of extra security to lock them in, so that was the first thing that I noticed. Little things like this, it has a little dent in the bars that you can put the water bottles on. Right there, little things like that that most other cages don't think to add. And then it also has these handles on the side, one over that side as well, and that makes carrying it so easy because when it's got everything in it, it's actually quite heavy, um, and this makes things a lot easier, so I'm impressed with these cages. I like them. Not the biggest fan of the colour, but these are so handy to have if you're a rescue, or if you have mice for other reasons, that you have to have a lot of enclosures. I really, really rate these cages. So here they are, they're absolutely huge, and I feel like I doesn't really pick up on camera just how big they are compared to my other mice, and that's because they are show type or show line mice and they are so much bigger. Everything about them, their body, their ears, their tails are so much bigger than normal mice. So I did film this clip the other day, I'll insert in a second, showing you the difference between them size-wise, ear-wise, compared to a normal, regular pet rescue mouse. And you can really see the difference. Okay, so just for size reference, because I find this very interesting, this is one of my new girls and she is a show type mouse. But for reference, this is like a normal scrawny rescue mouse and I'm not going to let them come into contact because they are from separate groups but if I put them side to side you can see the size difference. I feel like it doesn't fully pick up on camera but you can definitely see the difference in their ears. This type of mouse was bred to have very very big ears and this one is a lot smaller, looks a lot more like a wild type mouse but they are very vastly different so most of my mice being rescues do look like this girl here but this one is huge in comparison. You are like a Syrian hamster. And your sister is even bigger. <laughs> so here they are, they are two females. I think they're around six months or seven months old by this point. And the girl that had them didn't really handle them that much because she knew she wasn't gonna keep them. She didn't wanna to bond to them too much, which is something that I would probably do in that situation. So they're not the biggest fan of being handled or interacting with people. This one is definitely a lot braver, so let me introduce you to them individually. So this girl is maybe the biggest and she definitely has the biggest ears out of the two and she is an Argent. That's one of those words I've always typed but never really said out loud in person so that is her variety. She's a very very lovely colour, kind of a very muted colour with like a blue undertone and she has red eyes and she is definitely the more confident of the two. So they have got names from their previous owner and to be honest I really like them. They are names that I would use anyway myself because they do kind of go with my themes so I was toying with the idea of maybe changing them um, but I do like the names so at the moment they're keeping their original names. Unless you guys have any other suggestions, I've already had a Vixen which is a common name when it comes to red mice. I've already got a Hazel up there so none of those but if you have any suggestions but right now I'm keeping her names as they are and this one is April. And then we have this girl and she is a red mouse and that is actually linked to obesity in mice. Red mice can have a tendency to be a lot more overweight than other mice even just eating the same food so she was a lot bigger when I first got her, it's been a couple of weeks um, and we're trying to get her weight down to a healthy weight. She might always struggle with this because of her genetics but she is a very big chunky girl. So her name that she came with is Clover and I have already had a clove when it comes to mice so I wasn't going to use clover necessarily but it's been a while since then so we'll let you off. But yeah these are my two new girls, absolutely massive but very very cute, I just can't get over 
how big their ears are and clover has the cutest little button eyes and i'm just obsessed with them so i hope you guys have enjoyed meeting them i do now have to introduce them to the other mice it's been a couple of weeks i've been watching them and just spending time with them and my other boys have started to improve slightly so i'm not too worried about them and instructions but we'll see how it goes because these two are going to absolutely swamp the other mice and it's going to be interesting so let's go and introduce them and fingers crossed it goes okay Here goes. Be nice big girls. I love how I'm worried about the big girls reacting, but it's always little animals that have an issue and have an attitude, so could be the complete opposite. Ready? This your new friend. Oh my god, the size difference. That is ridiculous. Have another one. Oh my gosh. They look like two different species. To be fair, Lark is also up there. She is overweight. We have been trying to work on that, but she just eats the old boy's food and she is impossible to catch, so you need to lose weight too. So far, so good. Everyone is sniffing, moving around. Oh, Flurry. I think they're more focused on trying to escape. <laughs> it's okay. You've always been dramatic. You've always been a drama queen. They barely touched you, hun. Flurry is very interested in the girls. No one else seems to be that bothered by them, um, but he is pursuing them quite a lot, so gonna have to watch him, but he's always been a bit sassy. These two have given up. <laughs> it's so colorful. I've just had monochrome mice for such a long time. Look how cute they look together. Okay, so far so good. I've seen them grooming each other. They seem perfectly fine with each other. There's not been a single fight besides Lark just being dramatic and squeaking, but she is like that all the time anyway. So moving on to the next step, they're gonna go into the carrier and I've cleaned this, put fresh bedding in. Might still smell a little bit like them, but they're going in. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mind your tails. This carrier is so annoying because you have to hold it open constantly. are down there in intros I wanted to talk about wheels because this is the wheel that I currently use with my current mice I believe it's the small size night angel wheel and when I bought this a few people were like you should have got the bigger size and in hindsight yes I should have done because that would work with all mice and I would have saved myself some money but this is gonna be far too small for the new mice they are so so much bigger so far it's been okay with the current mice I've got. They've been really small rescue mice, but there is no way this is working with their bigger bodies and their longer tails. It's just not gonna be good. So I have forked out and bought myself new night angel wheels that are 10 inches instead. And it's very, very expensive. My heart breaks slightly at just how much it costs, but I swear by these, they are the best wheels that we can get in the UK. We just have to pay expensive American shipping. So, ta-da! Oh, <laughs> ta-da! So these are the new wheels. I did of course buy two of them because I have many, many mice. 
And this time I went for brown because although I love the green and all the colours they come in, I did regret the colour choice slightly because it does just stand out a lot in a naturalistic setup and I didn't think it would too much so this is going to look so much better and it doesn't really fit in the frame because it's so much bigger so this one is the 10 inch one and of course taking out the middle section when it comes to mice just to be safe just in case they get their tails stuck so I'm very very happy with these. Ignoring the price point, I am so happy. So that does mean I don't have a use for these green ones anymore. They are still in really, really good condition, and that kind of speaks to how good these wheels are because I've had these for just about a year, I think, and there's no damage, no rust, anything to them. So I am gonna be selling these probably on my Instagram if you're interested in buying both or just one of them for smaller mice or a small hamster, then I'll be selling these. I'll also give you the like cork bottom new one of these because I'm not going to use them so I'll clean these up really really good give you this package them up send them probably only in the UK because I don't want them to get lost because they are quite expensive so if you're interested look out for that post on my Instagram or send me a message but I think that is everything I wanted to talk about and show you I hope you guys enjoyed meeting the new mice April and Clover I'm fairly sure fairly certain that's going to say their names because it suits them and it's cute but I hope you guys enjoyed meeting them and seeing them and their ridiculous silly huge ears but hopefully fingers crossed intros carries on going okay and I'll see you in my next video whatever that might be don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon bye